Angel Reese. If you don't know who this is, they call her the Bayou Barbie or the Barbecue Barbie. She is kind of, you know, kind of, kind of ratchet. She's been paid $1.7 million at, to not go into the NBA. What am I talking about? Well, most athletes aspire to going to the professional league in order to get the big bucks. But there is no money in the WNBA because after 30 to 40 years of trying, after getting subsidized by the NBA, you know, every time the NBA plays a the game, they have to take a portion of their earnings and give it to the WNBA to try to bolster it. But why? We want to see slam dunks. We want to see windmills. We want to see people doing three-pointers from half court. Steph Curry, Shaquille O'Neal, the Dennis Rodmans. Nobody wants to spend their hard-earned money, men or women, on watching girls run around and miss layups. But in college, all that economy goes away. College is a fake economy. What does that mean? It means they get money from boosters. They get money from tuition, high tuition that doesn't help anyone. Students are paying 30, 40 grand a year. They're not getting any better education than they got 10 years ago, 20 years ago for half the price. That money is being funneled to these athletes to falsely bolster a sport that doesn't even do well at the professional level. So college sports is more profitable than professional because of the fake economy. More going woke, more going broke. Now, if you were Pepsi, would you want to give a million dollars to a WNBA athlete that nobody is going to see? Or do you give a million dollars to Angel Reese? Because then you get to tout that we're pro sports, we help women. And you're just riding off the back of the fake college economy. That's why Angel will not go pro. She's going to stay right there doing her fifth year in college. Even worse, Angel is benched. So Shaquille O'Neal got made the president of the Reebok Basketball Association. He comes over with the uh, million dollar contract and says, Angel Reese is the GOAT. I just want to make sure that the GOAT of basketball get, get the money. Angel Reese is not the GOAT of basketball. She's not the greatest of all time, not even in women's basketball. She won't even go pro. He lied, but that was a good business move because it shows Shaq supports Reebok, supports female sports without having to really support the pro league. All right, so we move right along and I want to read this to you. The reason this is becoming a problem is because the number one woman in the sport was A.A. Boston. Okay, this is her name on Instagram, at A.A. underscore Boston. Now, I'm going to read this to you. After leading LSU to the national title last year, barely, because Caitlin shot way more three-pointers and was more uh, impressive on the court. But anyway, Angel Reese got in her face and pointed at her face and everything. So anyway, Angel Reese is now valued at $1.7 million, ranking her seventh among all NCAA athletes. This is amazing, okay? Now, meanwhile, the number one WNBA draft pick, AA Boston, is making $74,000 a year. So if that doesn't tell you that there's more money in college because it's a fake economy, I don't know what does.